My name is Jordan Hill Lewis, but most people call me GHL, and I am the DA's mayoral candidate for the city of Cape Town. Say the first moment that I joined the DA, all the way back in 2004, uh, at a public meeting in Bontierville in Cape Town. And I was just really inspired by the DA's vision for South Africa and by this government that, or this party, that believed that South Africa could actually move forward and make progress, that we could unite the country, that we could be one country, and that we could prosper. And I've always been passionate about the DA ever since. That's when I signed up and I've never looked back. Cape Town is a city that really works. It's the best governed place in South Africa. I think we now have an opportunity to go right to the next level to do much more to really get the residents of Cape Town united behind a vision of protecting the city from the worst effects of a failing national government and getting the city moving forward again with optimism, with innovation, with exciting new policies, doing more things for ourselves, uh, like on renewable energy and getting free from load shedding, for example. So I think that we can really take Cape Town to the next level and get much more done. I want to immediately start looking at load shedding. I think that Cape Town can get free of load shedding so that businesses can come to Cape Town, so that people don't have to uh, live with the, not just the inconvenience of load shedding, but really actually the, the pain that load shedding causes so many people. Imagine being a student, a young university student or a high school student having to study by candlelight. Imagine living in an informal settlement and having absolutely no electricity uh, and then having to go through load shedding. So I'd really like to work on that right up front, get a team together and start making sure that Cape Town can be free from load shedding as quickly as possible. I think I'd really like to start with something simple like cleaning up Cape Town. Get every community, every uh, volunteer neighborhood watch involved in showing pride in our city. Cape Town is such a beautiful city, it's such a beautiful place to live. Let's go out into the streets and show that pride in our city by helping to clean up. I call it a spring clean. Spring is coming to Cape Town in more ways than one. It's not just spring season, but we're also coming out of the winter of COVID and all of the sadness and loss that we've had. Spring is coming, so let's go out there and do a spring clean together. I'm a dad, uh, first and foremost, actually. That's the most important part of my life. And I have a daughter growing up in Cape Town, and that's part of the reason that I ran for this office, is that I want Cape Town to be a safer place for my own family and my daughter to grow up in. And I want the same for every family in Cape Town and every father and mother in Cape Town. So we have already made excellent progress in building our own police force uh, in the Western Cape through the excellent work that the Western Cape government has done in a program called LEAP, which is the Law Enforcement Advancement Program. And we need to build on that, build our own police capacity, because the lesson that we've learned is that national government is not going to do it. They might be responsible for police, but they do not care about Cape Town, they do not care about the people of Cape Town and the Western Cape. So we are not going to turn our backs on those communities and say, well, this is national government's problem. We're going to fix the problem ourselves. And I'm very committed to doing that to make everyone in Cape Town feel safer.